Hey everyone, it's Benjamin here and before we continue, I want you to take a look at this video. So before we get started in today's tutorial, this is what I want you to know. I'm not going to be remaking the entire thing I just showed you, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to walk through the whole process on how I was able to put everything together inside of Canva. So if you are excited for this, let's dive straight into Canva. So you can see this is the entire video I was able to make inside of Canva and if I just scroll through you can see this is actually a 20 yeah a 20 seconds um, video in Canva and it has about 40 different slides you know that had been put together inside of Canva but before we even start there are some few things you need to notice or to consider when making videos inside of Canva Hold up wait a minute the first thing you need to have in mind is what story are you trying to tell what do you want people to get at the end of the day what information are you trying to pass out at the end of the day the second thing to have in mind is which videos or photos can I help you pass the information or the story you want to send to your audience and once you have that in mind it makes it easier in selecting the right videos or photos then the third thing is the music because at the end of the day music helps to send out your information easily because that's what would make it easy for your audience to be able to consume your content and after you consider all of these things you would also need to know how you are going to edit your video so usually i prefer editing my video to my audio which means that i edit my video to match the beats of any audio at all i am going to be using and with the audio i'm using in this particular um, video i actually downloaded it from Invanto. so the reason is Invanto usually has better music and um, even before i went there i searched in canva and i wasn't really getting the kind of audio i wanted so I got the audio from Ivanto and imported it in Canva. Then I started with the whole editing I actually made. So let's dive back into Canva and let me just explain the whole thing to you. So you see that with all of these slides that have been added in this video, they all have some numbers, you know, attached to them. And these numbers are just the timing of how long this particular scene or slide is going to last on the video. Okay, so this is going to last for just one second. This is 0.5 seconds or 5 milliseconds. We can see the same for this. Okay, so this is just what I did. The first thing I did was I came into my Canva. I just clicked on create a design and I just choose the video that dimension which is the 1920 by 1080 dimension inside of canva after i did that this is how the whole video um, editing space looks like in canva okay so you can see this where you can be able to trim all your slides or scene in canva okay so i just went straight into my upload because i actually uploaded the audio in canva so no this is the audio and i just click and drag it you know at the bottom over here and you know this time around canva gives you the opportunity to edit audio so because this is just one slide you are not really able to stretch out your audio but if i have to just duplicate okay you can see now i'm able to stretch my audio a lot okay so what i actually did to be able to get the whole audio is with the third slide i just had to stretch it so much that um, i can also have the opportunity to stretch out my audio okay so you can see this is the full audio we are seeing right now and just in case you want to expand or contract your audio or the space the editing timeline over here you can just click here the zoom page so you can see now it's selecting the timeline we have at the bottom here so if i stretch you can see how everything now begins to stretch out okay so now these are some of the things i considered the photos i'm going to use so i just go into photos and um, i would have so many photos here i can actually use in my video so just a simple drag and drop you know helps you to add your photos inside of canva and depending on the scene or the slide you want to work on you can just simply click on that so you can see the third one over here has the photo i uploaded inside of canva so, so if i want to add a photo into the first scene or my first slide i can just select it and just click and drag okay so you can see what we are doing over here it's as easy and simple and that's the same thing i did okay so now the next question is how was i able to edit my video to match my audio let's see how i was able to do that in canva okay so for example this is the first um, scene of the first slide canva gives you the opportunity to you know 
extend the duration okay or depending on the duration or how long you want a particular slide to last on you know on the screen you can be able to adjust it by dragging it you know expanding or contracting it okay so so from the audio waves we have over here we are able to tell how the beat is going to sound like okay so you realize that with every section which has a larger audio wave that's where a major beat is actually playing so once it starts from here this is a major um beat over here okay so i can just drag this over here so that the next scene starts from there so the next thing is i don't want a boring transition from one slide to the other i want some sort of movement to take place from here so what i can do is i can click on the plus and click on our transition okay and canva actually has some cool transitions we have over here so you can choose any of them at all but because of the beats we have in the background something like the stack would be the best so if i click on stack i can choose the direction so should they come from the left to the right down to top or top to the bottom you can either choose any of them at all so i'll choose from the top to the bottom okay and if we are to play the whole thing again this is how it's going to sound so you can see how the whole thing is looking okay so then i can just you know come here and also click and drag you know this way or depending on how you want everything to look like then i can just you know duplicate the page and i can have this scroll down and just change the image so that's a very simple way i was able to go about the whole thing okay so you can actually see that it's, it's matching the beat of the audio and this is the simple way i was able to go about it so now let's say with the text how was i able to add the animated text to my video so this is what i just did so let me just maybe duplicate this page and um, i'll just come to add the page this is it over here okay what i just did was i came into videos and i just searched for gradient and you can see we have so many interesting gradients over here so you can just choose any of the ones that suit you so i just click and drag it in here and it takes the whole page so you can see that this scene actually takes the whole length of this gradient we have uploaded so i can just drag it back because i don't need the entire um, clip i just need a short section of it okay so you just click and drag it this way okay so that it should match the beat so this is the next beat then i just press t on my keyboard for shape okay double click and i can just say u okay and i increase the size actually i want a capital u and select all and i can use my favorite font type which is poppins okay so once i have the poppins here i can choose the poppins extra bold and this is how you know it looks then what i did was i came into transition and i just reduced the transition maybe from um 100 to 15 okay and this is how it looks okay then i just duplicated this so i can just put the whole word i want to say so unique and U I Q U E. okay and it's too big the text is actually too big so we just have to reduce the size of the text okay so i just drag it here and increase it to something like this reduce the size and i'll just center it over here then i come back to the transparency and increase it all the way to 100 okay so this is how it looks at the moment and what i'm going to do next is i'll just click on it come to animate and i will just come to any of the animation you want but i went for the typewriter okay and um, you can see with the speed i want it to be very fast so with this slider over here helps you to control the speed of your animation then i can also reduce the duration so that it gets to run very fast so let's see okay so that's how it is so i can just duplicate it and basically change all of the text over here so i can just say s okay and come here and say stylish s t y l i s h okay then i increase it so that it fits the frame and yes so that's how the whole thing would look like so let's check so you can see how easy and simple it is to be able to edit videos inside of canva so yes this is how i was able to edit the entire video inside of canva and don't forget the things you have to consider is the story you want to tell finding the necessary audios and videos to support the message you want to send out to your audience then finding the appropriate music to support your content then after you're able to do that you now have to know 
how you want the whole thing to look like which means that you now need to be working with transitions and adding animations to your text if only you would need be if only you'd be needing that in your video so yeah this the entire thing so if you still want me to make a detailed video on this let me know in the comment section and if you are new make sure to hit on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my future canva uploads the name is benjamin don't forget to like and don't forget there is no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video Thank you.